Good morning, everybody. I'm trying to figure out where to put y'all. I'm going to the Crow Tarot Squares. I got my desk right here. So, my plants. Wish them luck, right? Uh, I have my desk right here, and right here would just be like a great place to set y'all. But as you can see, I don't have anything to set y'all. So, really cool crow tarot. And there's a crow spread with this crow tarot, which I want to do with y'all. And it'd be really helpful if y'all could like see it. So, if you want to give me just, I guess just a second to y'all. <laughs> give me like five minutes or so while I figure out what to do. Where should I, where would be the best place for all of this? So, one second. Okay, everybody. I think I figured it out. I got y'all on a, a mirror that my sister Kimmy gave me for Christmas. It has a little bone attachment on top of an apples to apples box. So, welcome to uh, me and Banjo's tarot card video. So whenever we go uh, out to shopping, just I guess window shopping is what you call it. Um, I always like the same in Bob Kindles. <laughs> and my mom got me an espresso. So. Let's see. Um, vibes I have for today. I also have... <laughs> Full disclosure, I have my uh, my cat tarot book. Um, just to help as kind of a, a reference, um, a guide um, for this crow tarot deck. And I keep trying to explain um, my... Uh, not hesitancy, just um, learning curve, I guess you could say. Um, and I don't do a very good job explaining it. So I'm going to just show y'all uh, what's been going on. Okay, so here's the book. Everybody book, right? Um, here are the cards. Ooh, so mystic. There's black with the uh, oh, brown, maybe. With the um, little feathers on them. Kind of like gold in it. Nice latte. I describe colors of uh, the names of the paints that I have. So, anyway, gonna start shuffling the cards. And what I was thinking was the best way to approach today's tarot card reading is Pancho, 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 is um, maybe think of a uh, I ask y'all as uh, you're getting your tarot card read today uh, maybe to think of a yes or no question um, and I thought it was best just to maybe just have that kind of um, general um, So, I 
think it's probably the best. Um, and I was going to say, try to make it like a positive or a negative um, yes or no question. But, you know, that's completely up to you. <laughs> but I think maybe it's, I'm going to try to make it a yes or no question kind of situation. And we'll go from there. But this tarot card deck has um, a, a crow spread, which looks like an actual crow uh, with the wings up. Let's see. So just so y'all know, I guess I'll show y'all. Hope you know. Okay. Um, so it's a little crow. There's a little of the head and the feet and the wings there. Um, and I really like this spread uh, for several reasons. Um, I guess one of the most obvious ones is um, card seven, which is external openings or obstacles. Since this is the energy that enters your personal atmosphere without your invitation. Which again, it could be positive or negative, right? Um, it may increase or alleviate friction. Um, I just really like the spread. And one of the main reasons is because of that um, card. So... Um, But I really like this card, this deck. I think all the artwork is really pretty. Um, so I guess I'll just show y'all. And I, I realize um, when you're dealing with like, I don't know, spiritual stuff or just you know, stuff that you ask your tarot card reader is not necessarily a question that's a yes or no. Um, but for me, I think it's, oh, just, I ask y'all to do that just because I think it'd be a little bit more helpful to just kind of have, um, just kind of like, I guess, a, a binary, you know, kind of choice or um, paradigm or just uh, a space we're working with, uh, or I'm working with with y'all here, um, and see how it goes from there. So, I hope you thought of your yes or no question. Um, I'm trying to think what mine would be. But I always try not to bring in my stuff into this tarot card stuff, readings. Um, especially because of um, the energy's already there. <laughs> you know, I got this phone right here. <laughs> and I, I'm seeing myself right there. So, as far as uninvited energy, it's, it's really much, pretty much me. <laughs> right now so that's why I always try to keep uh, my stuff out of this because there's already a lot there um, so I don't know I guess examples of yes or no um, uh, you know it's hard to, to say maybe it would be um, Uh, if you've been doing, uh, I've been doing a lot of yoga stuff, and recently I've been like um, really messing with this idea or concept of um, I call it being still in my yoga videos, but I think it can also be kind of like um, stuck. Um, is kind of what uh, I'm getting at a little bit. Um, and so maybe it could be something with um, 
a yes or no in the form of should you move forward in something or should you stay um, like where you are and that could um, I say that because I think it could be spiritual um, and stuff like that and it could also just be like um, staying stuck doesn't have to mean like like I guess in my situation staying stuck could just be like um, you're in a routine or cycle um, that has a lot of movement um, going a lot of places a really full busy schedule uh, maybe you're stuck in that um, you know what I mean but I don't know maybe a yes or no question like that if you need an example okay I shuffle a few more times Like every band is sleeping right next to us. Okay. Ten's in the wing. Alright, ready? So you have card one, which is your heart energy. I'll say these again. You have card two, which is the present. You have card three, I forgive. You have card four, which is your hopes and your fears. Card five, your grounding. Card six is the past and lessons you've learned. Card seven, of course, is uninvited energy. And card eight is the future and outcome. So as you can see, kind of, uh, it's like there's this red little pro with the, the kind of the feet, the grounding energy, hopes and fears, and the wings. Okay. All right. Y'all ready? Card one is your heart energy. Um, this can represent something that's permanent your natural state or it can represent um an energy that's kind of taken a hold of you due to um the, your past lived experiences so oh my gosh i love this card seven of cups <laughs> i hadn't gotten this card in a while so the yes or no question um i asked y'all today uh, to think of today, whether you have or not, you know, that's okay. Um, but <laughs> this is, uh, very interesting. Um, I was inspired by the Seven of Cups and the Cat Tarot, which has a lot to do with if it's upright, the answer is yes. If it's reverse, the answer is no. Um, but anyway, as you can see in this card, uh, you got the cups elements so the cups represent um, psychic creativity love feelings and dreams um, isn't this such a pretty card you got the crow um, with all these seven cups around it all different things right you got the heart pick I think this is a garland um, I'm not sure I think it's a mountain snake bird skull i think this is a tower a lotus um and this card is about dreams uh especially upright um there's crows in the sky with the cups all around them so um I think it's about dreams. I think this one is also about work too. Um, upright. So, um, you worked to have all of this stuff around you. Um, and, um, as far as your heart energy, um, whether you're feeling a bit, um, lacking, um, 
just know that's going to be very temporary. Um, whenever you're feeling alone or isolated or um, not heard or I guess anything kind of negative, um, it's not going to last very long thanks to this um, heart energy that we have today. So, I think, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, so, I think each one of these is just like representing dreams, so. It seems like you got everything. Uh, the bird skull is obviously, would probably be intelligence. The lotus, grounding. The snake, um, I don't know. I always associate the spine with the snake. Not always, but all of the time. Um, so maybe pride. You, you stand upright and you're prideful. Um, and this garland is seen a lot in this uh, crow tarot deck. So let me know what you think of the moon. Because it's uh, showing me in this deck a lot. I think I'm going to Heart energy is very good. <laughs> so, present and lineage, of course. Yeah, present energy. Um, and it creates the atmosphere for future events. The reverse high priestess. <laughs> so, um, obviously this is a really great card. Uh, the High Priestess is, um, in this uh, tarot card deck, is, um, somebody who's, uh, is more of, like, um, an influence, um, a spirit guide in this, um, tarot card deck. So, the High Priestess reversed, I think, um, of course, is not so great because the high priest is so great. So, the high priestess has a lot to do with faith and uh, the element is water. Okay. So basically, it seems that your connection to yourself has been lost, and you need to take time <laughs> to um, find that connection again. Um, but if you were to get that message from the High Priestess, uh, that's obviously, um, you know, the silver lining there. So, um, really pretty card. Um, so yeah, the lack of connection is lost, basically, with our present energy, which is really interesting that this is going to be Seven of Cups. I wonder what they have in store for us. Okay, so card three is the energy holding you back or helping you. And we have, what is this, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles upright, um, is a very diligent crow, um, willing to, um, take on any task and finish that task, um, to the smallest detail. So, unfortunately, um, this Eight of Pentacles, uh, reversed. Uh, is the opposite of that. <laughs> so there's um, energy around us um, which I would classify as holding us back um, as uh, maybe a bit obsessive compulsive um, a very unhealthy singular like focus um, so yeah that's a that's a obstacle we have today. 
Um, I just kind of want to show you each card since I haven't seen them. They're all pretty, right? So you got pentacles on a tree, you got some birds flying, and of course this girl, um, hard at work at pentacles. The pentacles is um, money, luxury, growth, apprenticeship, um, so, uh, what do we got here? We got obsessive compulsive energy, um, wholeness deck. So card four is hopes and fears. Oh, this is great, the sun card. <laughs> So obviously this is a great card, especially upright. Uh, we got a pretty horse with the sunflowers, um, the crow companion um, carrying uh, carrying something red, and the sun in the background. So obviously, um, I think the spread is telling us that we have a, a very bright light. Um, hopes uh, for whatever's going on, um, whatever kind of darkness the Eight of Pentacles is uh, bringing to us, um, we have a lot of light to kind of combat that. So, of course the sun, um, each one of the major Arcana deck cards has an element in this um, tarot card deck. So the sun obviously is fire. And I love how there's like other animals in these cards. I'm just going to read the sun really quick just to make sure. Oh, success. A lot of success has been bought. And luck. Success, success, luck, and positive energy. Positive and potential energy. So, that's great. Our second um, major arcana deck card. So, then we have the grounding energy. And advice. Temperance. Another major card. So we have this crow here. Um, not open, talking a lot, right? Um, oh, oh, sorry, he's not talking a lot. He has a cup in his mouth. Um, so this is a very interesting card. It, it um, I think the, um, Two of Cups looks a bit similar to this. Um, and the Two of Cups, if you know, is uh, about love and relationships and soulmates. Um, so this Temperance card, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read the um, description. But basically, this is the grounding energy and advice card. Um, it's one that um, the card placement is um helping to uh do away with limiting limiting beliefs and bad habits so right off the bat i would say that there's maybe um a bit of uh, self-consciousness self um Maybe you have really big dreams and you think maybe um, you're not good enough. Maybe. Um, is what I'm getting there. So I'm going to just check really quick the temperance card. The element is fire, so obviously that's very interesting. Um,
Okay, so this card is about um, these two uh, cups represent um, working with uh, opposing ideas or energies. Um, this temperance card is about balance and harmony. Um, and of course, it's a major arcana deck card. Um, so, all of these seem like really positive cards here. If, um, I'm thinking maybe your yes or no questions is a two-parter. <laughs> I'm thinking at first, your, uh, yes or no question is probably no but then probably yes or maybe some sort of guidance because um the sun and the temperance card with um the seven of cups is really encouraging um so as far as the no part it's not probably no to you but no to this eight of pentacles here um a very spiritual um spread here today so um that's very interesting um maybe if you feel like um you can't get to a certain meditation space or maybe you feel like you can't talk to somebody who's um, either like a spiritual or religious leader. Um, that's going to be okay uh, as far as the big picture is concerned. Um, it may be very frustrating uh, not being able to um, communicate with who you want to communicate with. Um, but there's a lot of other positive stuff going on. So, um, again, my best guess, uh, to whatever else, yes or no question is, is that, um, at first no, but then yes. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. We got three cards left. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six is the past and lessons we've learned from the past. Ooh, three of swords. Um, I think this is such a great card. I like the three of swords in um, the Cat Tarot deck too. Um, it's, uh, so here the heart is pierced with three swords. You can see that. And we have a throat there and a fourth one. Um, and... <laughs> I just like the art in these cards. I think it's so cool. Uh, but the Three of Swords is about um, the intersection um, with your mind and your heart. Uh, swords is the air element. It has a lot to do with um, ideas, thinking, logic, um, and disagreement so this is very interesting after the temperance card so I think um, whatever you have um, at a very spiritual um, and if I'm, I'm assuming that's something that y'all um, are in tune with um, but if not um, just something really big uh, you're going to um, be able to accomplish something that's really big and so whatever's been um, not nagging you but definitely at the forefront um, is you're going to be able to deal with uh, thanks to that temperance card um, so yeah uh, this card is about feeling and going through the emotions and um, Stuff like that, just processing emotions, which is something that humans have been evolutionized to do. So, um, this is going to go great. 
Oh, sorry. It's something that you learned from the past, right? Uh, well, maybe, um, <laughs> subscribe to that. So maybe, um, something that you, um, accomplished in the past that's been at the forefront is really going to help you in a really big way. Um, especially considering the temperance card, um, balancing opposing forces, um, ideas, and, um, productivity. It's a bit different in the temperance card in the cat tarot deck. Um, but anyway, the lessons, your past and the lessons you've learned from your past, um, my tarot card reading today would be that, um, you've built up, uh, to a certain level and you've earned, um, what you have, uh, spiritually and, um, And my guess is uh, maybe a little bit more with the pentacles. So maybe um, that really makes this eight of pentacles interesting. So I'm going to keep going with this reading and then do a full reading and see how that goes. But <laughs> you see me struggling, you know. It is what it is. I'm a bit intimidated by this tarot card deck, but here we go. Okay, so the uninvited energy, external openings, is all of the lovers reversed. Okay. <laughs> so, um, hmm. And share the card. Why isn't this such a great card? So, you, of course, you have the two crows with the one heart. A uh, very obvious meaning there. Uh, the two trees, which is a bit like the pentacles, I think. Um, even though trees are in other cards, usually the pentacles are in the trees in this tarot card deck. Um, of course, you have the snake. And, of course, the birds are flying, too. And uh, in this tarot card deck, is the moon it has a lot to do with your your shadow self, the self that you don't necessarily um, let everybody see. So this card reversed, um, unfortunately, is not good. Um, so this it's very interesting. We have a lot, I think, a balance of um, minor, minor arcana deck stuff happening. Um, that is matched with the major arcana deck. So, um, unfortunately, the negative aspects of this reading would be the reversed Eight of Pentacles in this reverse lover's card. Um, and the positive, uh, aspects that we have here are the, um, of course, the Sun, Temperance, and... Two of Swords. So unfortunately, there's um, a very negative energy with the um, so the element is air, which is interesting with the Swords. So, um, yeah, basically not good. <laughs> um, there's an imbalance. Um, it doesn't necessarily in the, say in the relationship and especially, and so that's interesting in the card placement. Um, so we got an imbalance. 
um, so that's interesting with an air element. So, um, yeah. Rocky J. Oakland. Ooh, it's a challenge. So after that spread, um, this is actually a really uh, good card to get. Um, I think um, the, the tower represents change and challenge. Um, so you see there's the tower and the birds are, it broke and the birds are flying to safety. So, um, a lot of major stuff going on here. Y'all had a very good yes or no question. Um, so I think it was no, then yes, and then the opportunity. Um, you're going to get the opportunity to have that first part of your yes or no question be yes. Um, Um, being that the yes is positive and the no is the negative. Um, so, the tower. Um, And he says uh, this energy will move you to a better place and that you have to be mentally prepared and ready. Um, so before this video ends really quick, here's the spread. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that just because the video is, my video ends at 38 minutes. So, um, What did y'all think? I'm gonna have to practice a bit more, huh? But anyway, I really love this tarot card deck. Um, going through some stuff spiritually and also um, in your day to day. Um, but anything that uh, you missed, um, you're gonna have the opportunity to, you're gonna have a second chance. Um, and it's gonna be even more gameful and impactful would be my guess um so yeah thanks for listening um i can't wait to for our next tarot card video and um i'll talk to y'all later